over the past few weeks, thousands of persons associated with Boko Haram, comprising captives, civilians, and women and children, including combatants, have flooded gaps in towns in northeast Nigeria, such as Bama, Marfa, and Goza. These mass defections has led to concerns in certain quarters over management of detainees and defectors. The Nigerian government has policies and processes for managing defectors and detainees arrested during counterterrorism operations. These individuals are screened and profiled by the Joint Investigation Committee comprising intelligence officers that determines if they are sent for rehabilitation or release or sent for prosecution in accordance with the Counterterrorism Act of the country. Individuals who are designated for rehabilitation and deradicalization are sent to Operation Safe Corridor based on Gombe, where they go through a series of programs for deradicalization, reorientation, and also skill acquisition, after which they are sent to the state government and reinserted into society. These 165 former insurgents have just concluded the DDR, that is under Operation Safe Corridor. It means deradicalization, reintegration, and reorientation. The domestic intelligence agency and the prisons also have facilities to accommodate high risk members of the group who have either surrendered or been arrested. The mass defection has led to also concerns about the quality of, of services available and the ability of the existing resources and facilities to accommodate these numbers of individuals. It also led to concerns over the need for institutional frameworks to back the rehabilitation and reintegration program of the government and also a much more civil approach to the management process.